All right. We're going to take a look at how our Go workspace is set up, as well as why it's configured in the particular way that it is. So I have my Go workspace here. Uh, you can name it whatever you'd like to. Just make sure that your Go path is pointing to that location. Now, the three folders inside of our Go workspace need to be spelled exactly as you see them here. If they're not, they're not going to run correctly. So we have our bin folder, which is short for binary. It's going to hold our executables that we might want to run in our, our terminal. And these would be the executables that would run you know, from any directory within our, our terminal. Our package folder, well, it's going to go ahead and store any packages we install from the internet. And our source folder is going to hold the applications that we create. So if we go to our hello world uh, directory inside here and look at main.go, uh, as you can see, we're already inside of that directory. Um, we want to run it. All we have to do is go run main.go. Uh, notice we don't have to put any extra pathing in. We don't have to put, you know, create some uh, configuration file. Uh, we just type it in and run, and it will output another world. So this command will tell it to look inside the current directory, which is hello world, and it will look for a main.go file. And uh, let's say, for instance, we want to run an application from you know, an app from the internet. Let's go down to the, our my apps. Let me change directories here. And you'll see we have this uh, application from the internet, github slash common nighthawk slash go figure. Uh, I look inside the package folder inside of github. I don't have this package yet. So to get that, all I got to do is use the go get command followed by the URL for where that package is located. And we should see it pop up over here on the left. Oh, there it is. And we can even look inside and you'll see we have a file here with a .a extension. This shows that it's already been compiled. Um, this is very useful to shorten your compile times if you're using a lot of package from the, packages from the internet repeatedly. Um, they don't have to be recompiled uh, every single time. Just your code would be compiled and then this would be added to it. So it saves you quite a bit of time there. So if, let's go back our application here. If we go, go run main.go, uh, this should run. And as you see, uh, we give it this string and it gives us this nice little, little ASCII art down here at the bottom. Now, let's say if I wanted to create a binary, which I'm going to run from the terminal, uh, all you need to, need to do is just use the uh, go build command. And again, this will look inside this, this directory and it will find the main.go file and it will compile it and it will leave it here in this directory for us to run. Oh, there it is, myapp.exe. And to run this, we just got to put it in. And there we go. Now, this exists in this directory. So if I leave this directory, let's see if we just go back one. Um, this will not, you know, it, that will not run. So I would have to install it. Now, when you install a Golang app, it places it in this bin folder. And Golang knows to look inside this bin folder anytime you run an executable or anything in the that's you know in the system variable paths uh, you know 
place and it will go ahead and run. So let's go back to uh, the my app directory and we'll put, go go install and this should create a binary up here. Yep, and there it is. So there it runs and even if I'm not in the same directory, now I'm in the source directory should still run and there it is. Now don't take, uh, don't focus too much on all the, the go get, go run, go build, go install. We'll take a look at those a little bit further down the line. Just kind of understand that there's a lot of go tools out there and your workspace is set up in a particular way to kind of make it simpler for you and for it to be able to run these commands without putting in a whole bunch of extra you know, pathing information or setting up some kind of configuration file. I hope that was helpful.